like my past vlogs. It's going to be different in a way. It's more of a reminiscent vlog, if you will. I'm basically going to tell you a story about this whole week, and this whole week was spent with Amy. In our last vlog where we went to the Irvine Spectrum Center, Amy and I totally forgot to tell you guys that she was spending a week here in Southern California. So what I did was I recorded mini clips throughout the week so I can create a story and tell you guys what we did throughout this week. You're probably wondering, what am I doing here by myself on Christmas Day? Why isn't Amy here or why am I not with my family? Well, this time around I'm in Southern California. <clears throat> I think I got a granola stuck in my throat. Anywho, I'm in Southern California. All my family's in Northern California. And usually on Christmas time, my family and I gets together. We open up our presents, we eat, we chill, we relax, we do a bunch of stuff. We stuff our stockings, we stuff them stuff, we stuff ourselves, we do a bunch of stuff. I know I can drive up or fly up to Northern California, but it's okay. All right, let's begin. Reminiscent time. This story begins last Sunday, December 18th, which was a day after our last vlog, which was eight days ago, plus two minus one equals a Sunday. We created a schedule of all the errands we need to do that day because we need to go grocery shopping for the week. We need to eat. It's all about the food. We broke it down, as you can see in this schedule right here. The thing is, we didn't really stick to it. I mean, our timing was so off that it was maybe two hours delayed or so. The first place we went to is Target, and this is all the food we got. <laughs> schedule said Irvine Spectrum Center. Yes, we went there twice. We went there two days in a row. The reason for going is because we wanted to eat more macarons from Honey and Butter and it was so delicious. And also Amy wanted to go shopping at Hollister. Next up, we went to Costco. Amy really wanted to get these dumplings she tried before and she told me to look for them before she came here and I couldn't find it and then when we got there, Amy found them. Yeah, I have a tendency where I can't find things. It's so weird. I guess I'm just like not really paying attention or so, I don't know. And we also need more paper towels. Next up, we went to this Korean market called H Mart. We got a lot of Asian food there. We bought noodles, we bought banana sauce, banana sauce and banana sauce. All that sauce. We also bought some rice cake for dokboki so we can add it in our noodles. Yes, we're gonna incorporate all these ingredients. And then when we got home, Amy started cooking some delicious pasta. This pasta was gonna be good for us for at least two days, so we ate that for a while. <laughs> After all that pasta, I think I'm gonna make my own Alfredo right now. Oops. The next day was Monday and I had to go to school, so Amy was here by herself in the apartment. That's so sad. However, she did get to work on her bullet journal. So Marno got me this bullet journal for Christmas. Yes, we got our gifts early. And today I'm finally gonna open it and use it. Even though it's not Christmas yet, but he already got his Christmas present early. Let me show you what she got me for Christmas. We are back. She got me Call of Duty Infinite War Hair for the PS4. Oh man, my thing is falling. <laughs> That night after school, we just ate leftover pasta from the day before. Like I said, we ate it for two days straight. And at the same time, we also were watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., which is a fantastic show, by the way. We were basically catching up on all the shows we watched together. Um, we watched Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., The Flash, etc. 
I was gonna make pasta earlier, like I said, but change of plan, I ended up making ramen. And yes, I'm eating it out of a pot because I'm too lazy to wash some dishes. So the next day, which is a Tuesday, we went to Target because Amy really wanted to bake some cookies and all that stuff. So we picked up all the ingredients. And on a side note, she also wanted to go shopping in Target and look for clothes, see what's on sale, you know? It's before Christmas. There might be some sales going on. <laughs> And then when we got home, she started making snickerdoodle cookies. Super good. Super, super, super good. And then on Wednesday, we played video games together. We played Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Remember that game she bought me for Christmas? Yes, that's what we play. And another thing is, it's so awesome that Amy plays video games with me. I mean, we get to kill zombies together. We're like a duo zombie killing machine. It's awesome. What am I doing outside? Well, one thing, I'm waiting for my nipples to get hard. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm really out here just to get some fresh air after eating all that noodles and stuff. On Thursday, I made us some dinner. I fried us some chicken strips, Amy made some sugar cookies. I totally forgot to film all of the baking and cooking, but I think we've had enough of that. Also, she gave me a haircut. Yeah. On Friday, I didn't have school that day. So the first thing we did on that day was go to the movie theaters. We went to the theaters nearby and we watched Passengers. It was a spectacular movie. We watched two movies this week. I mean, it's great. I love going to movie theaters. It's just awesome. After watching Passengers, we ate at a place called Poke Tiki where they serve poke. I mean, it's in the name. I'm not gonna name all the stuff we ordered on our plate because I don't feel like it. <clears throat> no, it's just too many ingredients to name. I mean, you basically build your own plate. You add what you like and don't get what you don't like. And now to talk about Saturday, a day before today. It's the same thing as yesterday. This is the part where we hate the most, where we dread the most. The part where she has to go back to Sacramento. I mean, this week was just too fast. Her visits are always too fast. It's weird it's like it takes forever to come down here but it's so fast for her to go back up and what i mean is the day you dread the most will get here really fast and the day you want the most will get here really slow it's just so weird i know it's all about perception and how you view it but unfortunately it is what it is on saturday we just spent the last minutes we can get with each other just sitting and just talking and enjoying each other's company one last time before she goes back to Sacramento. You know what? I'll just let the clips roll. These next few clips will explain itself. It is 5.34 p.m. and the sad part is she has to fly back home to Sacramento. I'll miss you. I'll miss you too. <laughs> Just like that, she's gone, back in Sacramento. This whole week, it just became a memory. This week has been the best week ever. I truly cherish every single moment that I had with Amy this whole week. And come to think of it, Amy just gave me the best gift in the whole world. I mean, in Christmas, we always focus on giving each other gifts, and usually these are just things, but Amy, she gave me something that's crazy, something that's amazing, something that's out of this world. It's rather truly fantastic. It's something that stays within the existence of time and it can't even be touched. And what it is, is 
Memories. Memories of her. Memories of us. Memories of what we usually do. And it doesn't have to be things that are just truly crazy and out there, but it's something that's so simple, such as just sitting at home or just eating together. It's truly beautiful. I've always said it's the little things in life that mean the most, and it's so true. I mean, every millisecond that we spend together is something that we will always cherish and are super grateful for. We don't have to have the fanciest dinners. We can eat at home. We don't have to go to a fancy park and watch the starlit skies. I mean, we can just sit at home in our pajamas. It's something so simple as that. That's what makes us whole. And this whole week was simple. It doesn't seem like we did a lot, but to us, it meant a lot. I am so glad I was able to capture all this footage and condense it and encapsulate it into a single time frame. And this time frame, we will always cherish it. This long distance relationship that Amy and I are going through, it teaches us not to take things for granted. And it's purely beautiful. Amy, I know you're watching this, and I just wanna let you know that thank you for a great Christmas. And as for each and one of you, I want you to take this time and make the most out of your family, friends, and all your loved ones. Live in the moment. Take every moment for as it is. Create memories with them, because that's one of the best gifts that you will ever have. Wow, that was pretty awesome. I think it's about time that I end the vlog right now. Thank you so much, guys, for letting me share my story, my whole week with Amy, and it was a pleasure in sharing this experience with you guys. I know I didn't do your comment with us because no one answered the last question. <laughs> So I'm just gonna leave that question pending and play the last clip with that question. So you still have time to answer that question and maybe I'll feature in the next video. What's your favorite movie and why? So yeah, answer the question down below, like and subscribe, stay simple, never take things for granted, create memories, and as always, do what you gotta do. Peace. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba -ba.